Hello and welcome to scenario one. The question for this scenario is, which test can be used to confirm type 1 diabetes in a patient who is over the age of 50? Now, in order to cover this scenario, I have used NICE guidance for type 1 diabetes in adult patients, and I want to break down the following. How do you typically diagnose type 1 diabetes? What are the investigations for type 1 diabetes in adult patients? And when should you consider using these investigations? Now, please feel free to pause at any point and write down your thoughts. Let's start by covering a typical diagnosis picture. So for the vast majority of patients with type 1 diabetes as an adult, you will make a clinical diagnosis, which is based on them having hyperglycemia and one or more of the following op options. So this includes ketosis, it includes rapid weight loss, it includes an age of onset below the age of 50, which is different to our scenario, it includes a BMI of less than 25, and it can also include a personal or family history of autoimmune disease. However, atypical features can be present with type 1 diabetes, so we should still consider it in patients who do have a BMI of over 25, and also in patients who are over the age of 50, which is effectively where this scenario is trying to take you. But before I move and talk about the scenarios where additional testing might be required, I just want to briefly touch on the types of investigations that you can do to aid your diagnosis. So one of those tests is C-peptide, and the second type of test is diabetes-specific autoantibodies. Now, an example of this would be the glutamic acid decarboxylase antibody, which is also known as GAD. Now, both of these can help aid the diagnosis of type 1 diabetes. Now, when should you consider additional testing? Well, the first scenario is when patients have atypical features, just like in this scenario. So this patient is over the age of 50, therefore it's an atypical feature. But also if the patient had a BMI of over 25, you would then still consider doing the additional tests. Now, other scenarios where you could also do tests would be whether the patient needs further genetic testing. And finally, if you feel that the confirmation of type 1 diabetes would impact the treatment that that patient receives, i.e. such as giving them an insulin pump, that would also be an indication. So just to recap, type 1 diabetes generally is a clinical diagnosis. You can use tests like C-peptide and autoantibodies like GAD, and we should especially do that in this scenario for a patient who is over the age of 50. Thank you very much. I hope you found this helpful. This podcast is hosted by wellmedic.co.uk. We help GP trainees pass the AKT.